Hi everyone, it has been a minute, but I am back today with an enormous Fashion Nova curve haul, and I really wish I filmed this in the form of an unboxing, because as I was opening them, I was like, woo, woo, like, giddy as a fucking, what's giddy? Not a clam. Clam? I don't know. <laughs> as I was opening these because I kind of had like forgotten what I'd ordered and I was like, oh damn, woo! Anyways, I was hyped as I was opening these. So hopefully you're just as hyped seeing them. Um, January is kind of hard for me shopping wise. Like I'm like just super uninspired by clothes right now. Like fall is my favorite time to buy clothes because like the colors and just like the coziness. And then like summer, you're like coming out of winter. So you're like jazzed to wear like fun stuff. But there's something about winter clothes that are just so dull to me. So I decided for this haul to try and get out of my comfort zone. There's going to be a few things in here that you may have never seen me haul, actually. I tried to get out of my comfort zone and experiment with styles this time around. Is this too much yellow? I don't know. It has been a while since I filmed, so I'm off the rails. Okay, so the first thing. Kind of basic, but it's also my favorite thing I got in this haul. A one-piece swimsuit. It's in this really, really pretty dusty pink mauve color. So basic one-piece swimsuit, but then at the bottom, there's these black mesh panels at the sides. So for a second, it, it kind of looks like you're wearing black underwear and then um, a leotard over it. I think it looks like a really cute little color block. Also, it gives you a little bit more coverage. So I really like the cut of this. I feel like with a lot of Fashion Nova items, you might get like that like Instagram ass kind of cut, but like this was a very basic one piece kind of cut. I felt covered. So I really like this. And I feel like I have a lot of swimsuits that are like out there with cutouts and craziness. So it's good to have kind of a basic swimwear piece that you can wear with your six year old cousin and not feel like you're putting your boobs in their face. You know, like nice to have just like a nice, classic swimsuit. So this one is in a size, probably a two, let's see. One X, oh wow, okay. And I think this fit great, it has adjustable straps. Sometimes with one pieces I do get a little bit of pulling and my boobs will like flatten out, but I didn't get that with this. So this isn't like super supportive A plus boobs, but like you're gonna have like a nice, a nice boob. This also comes in a green with again, the black color blocking down here, but I don't really have a lot of this color and I really like this color, so I went with this one. Okay, so you know how I talked about buying things I never really buy? This next item is one of those things. I got three pairs of jeans this time and if there's something you should know about me, it's that I literally never wear jeans. I'm always in a dress or athleisure, like there's no in between. I am not a jeans and a t-shirt kind of girl. I was like, maybe it's time to try something new. I feel like in the off chance that I do wear jeans, I have a few pairs of jeggings that I've gotten in the past that like when I need to look like an adult kind of, which isn't that often, I can grab those. But I wanted to try new things in the new year and I've been seeing a lot of those kind of culotte style mom jeans. Um, which to me, I feel like they're frumpy and unflattering, but literally everyone's wearing them and I have to do what everyone else is doing. So I bought some too. So I did buy three pairs and this one ended up being my favorite pair. So these are in a size 16 and these are a light wash, like typical mom jean. And I actually really like the fit of these. So again, I thought I would look like frumpy as hell. Like I do not like the style of like the jeans that look like gaucho pants can't deal with that but a more relaxed ankle crop i guess i what i'm aiming for is maybe a boot cut or a straight leg but this is definitely wider um but i do like how this fits me throughout the leg so this fits me um to the knee and the calf and then just kind of shoots out a little bit so i think this of the three is the best one i got so i really like the wash i feel like that's like super trendy and i'm just like trying to copy everyone else so I like the light wash and again it goes with like the theme of like a 90s mom jean. And there's like minor distressing here. Um, something I noticed in all the pockets across the board, like they're not deep, but they go this way. So they're not like super functional pockets, like I can get up to my knuckles right here. Um, not super deep pockets, but the back ones are deep and fully functional. But how often do you use your pockets? I don't know. I don't wear jeans, so I wouldn't know. But 
out of the three I got, these are my favorite. There's like a little bit of stretch, but they like feel like true denim. A little bit of distressing. And again, I just liked how they fit throughout the leg. I know I'm trying a different style. Like this is not a skinny ankle jean. This is cropped um, and a more of a relaxed fit throughout the leg. So I didn't feel as like ugly as I thought I would in these jeans. Like these will probably be my more reached for pairs. Um, I follow Maxi Green on Instagram. I also know her in real life, but like she wears these jeans, these kind of jeans a lot and I like how she looks. And we have a very similar body shape because we um, fit model for the same client. So I was inspired by her style to try a new style of jeans. And you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. These are my favorite of the three, but you'll see those later on. Okay, I'm going a little out of order. I just kind of like piled everything. So these are something I've never tried from Fashion Nova. I have never gotten shoes from them. So I picked up these snakeskin ankle booties. I used to get all my shoes at like Payless or Charles Russe and then those both went out of business so I'm like SOL. I wanted new booties. The ones I have are like falling off my feet from two years ago and I saw these and I was like, these are so cute. Um, and my sister had just gotten a pair of snakeskin booties too so I wanted to match. Again, I'm a follower. I was really impressed by their selection of shoes that they had so I went with these. They are a little bit higher than what I would typically go for. If I was getting an ankle cut it would probably be around here but I've tried these on. I've worn them a few times. They're actually really comfortable um, and this doesn't really bother me around my calves and ankles. And then the snakeskin is fake. Obviously I'm not going to kill an animal for like a fast fashion shoe. It's just painted in that pattern so I'm down with that. Also, there's a pretty big heel, which is going to take some getting used to. I've done big heels as everyday wear working in the city. That's totally fine with me, but usually that's in like a wedge form or if I'm going to do a heel on a booty, it's like probably like EA high. So this I would say is probably three inches, but again, I've worn these a few times. I didn't die. I wasn't like waiting to take them off. So it was actually pretty easy to get around in these and I got used to it really fast. These are really comfortable, a lot more comfortable than they probably look. And I feel like they like really jazz up an outfit. Like if you have a black top on, maybe those jeans and then like one of these, I feel like it makes you look really put together as opposed to like just the black little booties that I've been wearing. Just like a little bit more fun detail. It wouldn't be a Shannon haul unless I got a tie-dye item and a bodysuit. So I got a tie-dye bodysuit. So this is in a size 1X super stretchy jersey knit material. I thought this was really cute. A great layering piece for like an easy day, easy outfit. Again, pair it with those jeans, which I did in the try on part. So it has the two button enclosure down here, but honestly I stepped right in the top part. It was easy to get in and out of. So I didn't have to deal with the snaps because the snaps are kind of hard, even though they're on every bodysuit. So this one is cut kind of high. I put it on, I was like, Ooh, good thing I shaved. So very high cut in the front and your little, oh, what are those called? Not the love handles, but Ashley Graham's like trying to make it a thing. I don't know. Um, the, th <laughs> the things below your love handles, um, those were like peeking out. So, um, just be aware of that. Like the coverage isn't, um, the classic fit of like a bodysuit. And the back is something similar. Like it's not like high cut, like thong cut. Um, so I had coverage, but once I started to move around, it like, found its way into my ass, which is not my cup of tea. If I wanted it to like, you know, fit like that, I would have rather they just sold this as a thong cut bottom. I have a few bodysuits like that. So at least you know what you're getting into as opposed to like the slight bunching and then the right in your ass. So this does have like a cheeky cut that will then turn itself into its own thong cut. So just so you're prepared, that's what's gonna happen with this bodysuit. Unless you have less of an ass than me, and I don't think that's possible, because I don't have an ass. So this is one of the things that I was like wooing when I opened my package, because it's just so fun. So a little black dress with a feather, feather what? Feather top? I don't know. Um, <laughs> feather embellishment along the top. This is just so 90s clueless to me and I think it's a really nice updated take on a little black dress because it's, you know, just very basic throughout. And then you get the fun little kind of like fembot boobs up here. So the body of the dress is a really nice ponty fabric, pretty thick, really stretchy. Um, what size did I get this in? I got this in a 2X. Um, and there's a lot of give in here. So if the 2X or your size is sold out, just know that you can probably size down because there's a lot of room in here. Um, this does have a back zipper to get in. I didn't even use this. I just put this dress on right over my head. It stretched right over. So 
you don't even need to worry about the zipper back here because it is pretty stretchy. It also has adjustable straps. Um, it is bodycon, but I didn't feel like my stomach was like on display. Also, the fabric was pretty thick, so I didn't feel like it was gonna show every lump and bump on me, and I was wearing regular underwear. And I also like that I could probably wear just a regular bra with this and then just match up these black straps with the bra because like you're not really going to notice the separation here. So I just think this is a really cute little party dress. All right, next, a little a basic, a little top here. I've been eyeing this one for a while and they also have it in black. And then I was torn between which one I was going to get and I opted for this really, really cute purple. So it's just a solid chiffon-like top. It has the lettuce cut little mock neck around the neck. It ties in the back. I didn't have to deal with that. Um, it has ruching throughout the arms, which is a really, really cute detail. And then a little bit of gathering around the neck. I think that's such a flattering cut, especially for like a more modest top like this that's gonna cover everything. To have it gather by the neck gives it a nice little shape. Um, I just wore a bra on underneath this for the try on, but if I was gonna wear this to work or something, I would put on a cami underneath because it is gonna be see-through. But I really liked the ruching detail on this and the color is what stood out to me the most. So I got this in a 1X, I feel like it fits fine. Okay, we are back to the denim. I did get two more pairs of those cropped mom jeans and I wanted to try different styles. So these are in a darker wash and just different fits. So this one wasn't that bad. The light wash are my favorite, best fitting, best looking. Um, but then I wanted like a more plain dark wash kind of jean. Um, and this one wasn't that bad. It's so funny. Like I'm so not used to wearing jeans in general that like I think they all look bad on me you know? But I feel like with this one and the next pair, I feel like they really accentuated my lower stomach, which I don't dig. So maybe that's why I was like, I don't know about these. And I feel like this and the other pair made me look a little bit bigger than I am or appear to be. I don't know. A lot of mental gymnastics going on right now. But these were actually not that bad. I'm just not used to wearing jeans. So pretty similar to the other pair. They're more of a crop style with a mom jean relaxed fit. These have a little bit of fraying and distressing at the ankle. So I feel like throughout the waist, that fit me fine. These are a size 16, which is my size. So the waist and throughout the leg, it didn't feel that bad. So like a normal fitting jean, but then towards the knee um, and then down from there, it just kind of like fell apart, I feel. And I am a fit model, so I feel like I should kind of know how things should fit, even though I don't wear jeans on the reg. But I feel like there's a way they should feel. And for me, this kind of fell apart on the knee. Um, it just fit me really weird on the knee and then just didn't cascade down from there correctly. I truly did feel like these were like my grandma, may she rest in peace. Like I found these from her stash in like 2001 and put them on and like, yeah. So with the other jeans, I feel like they were mom jeans on purpose and they fit accordingly. And then these, I felt like they were straight up mom jeans from 1997 and they felt like it, you know, there was definitely a difference. So I just wish um, the fit was different from like here down. It just didn't give you the look you are going for, even if you are going for that like frumpy mom. I don't know why this is a trend. Um, but if you're going for that frumpy mom look, there is a look to that. And this just like wasn't it for me. I am going to keep these as kind of like backups, which I don't think they'll be too bad. Maybe once I like wash and wear them a few times, um, the fit around the knee will get better. I'm just kind of indifferent about these. I feel like the light wash pair was so good. And then the pair after this was so not good that these are just kind of like, meh. They're the middle child of jeans. Okay, and now the third pair of jeans. This is in a wash that I love. You know, it's a little lighter than this, but then it all just kinda went south. So this does not have the jeans enclosure of like a zipper and then a button up here. They have the like five button um, enclosure and they're hidden, which is a really cool design feature, but um, it was just really hard to button. So. Buttoning your jeans is awful anyways, cause like for me, that's where all my fat is. I have a handful of fat in my arms right now. Yes, I'm fat everywhere, but like I've got that tire around my waist like nobody's business. Um, so it was like busting out and then you're trying to button and then like the bottom two are so hidden in here and then they have that covering so you don't have the finger dexterity in here. I can't even unbutton it now and it's not even on my body. Um, so the bottom two we're, yeah, okay, a little hard, you know? And that's not even with my like 30 extra pounds of fat on my stomach 
pushing these over. Um, so a little hard to button five buttons when they even have that extra thing of fabric so you can't even get your fingers in there correctly. But again, I kind of like that design detail. It just didn't work out for me. So the five button enclosure and then they were kind of just like grasping on for dear life. And I don't like the feeling of buttons on my stomach. I think that's one of the reasons I don't wear jeans in general. I just don't like that button and zipper feeling on my fat. So it's kind of like a me thing too. So I just didn't like the enclosure of this. And then just throughout the body, even though these are the same size as the other ones, this felt really tight throughout. These were giving me like extreme camel toe. Like you can definitely see east and west of my crotch. Like it, there was a very obvious this is a vagina kind of going on here. And for a mom jean slash relaxed fit, I feel like that shouldn't be happening. So if you are sold on this wash and the button enclosure, size up. I think maybe getting an 18 would have given me that fit that I was looking for, but you know, this wasn't it. This, my fat here and my fat vagina just like a perfect storm of no. So I feel like this wasn't a huge loss because I do have a pair that I really like and then a pair that are like okay in the middle. So um, these didn't work out for me, but like, again, if you really want them, size up. And then in the back, um, there's distressing on the pocket and like my finger went through. So it's like accurate distressing. Just don't put your phone or anything back there. That's important to you. So for me, not wearing jeans at all i think i did pretty well i there was one pair that didn't work out so i think i did okay and i'm proud of myself for like making the attempt to wear jeans again um i do have one more item and it's two things i should steer clear of denim and jumpsuits <laughs> um again i saw maxi green wearing like a denim jumpsuit obviously hers is like from madewell or something but i was like let me at least try this see if i like it and then you can always go for the more expensive kind of thing. You know what? This wasn't that bad. I looked like a mechanic or Rosie the Riveter, if you want, um, but I also looked like the penguin in Batman, you know, Danny DeVito as the penguin, um, because of the way my body is shaped. Again, very apple shaped. I've got a gut like you wouldn't believe. I look pregnant in person. So that gut in a jumpsuit just like looks comically bird-like. Um, but the rest of this isn't that bad. It's a very stretchy denim. I got this in a 2X. It's a denim throughout, like, skinny jean fit down here. So I like the bottom. If these, like, stopped at the pant line, I'd be like, okay, great jeans. Um, or if it stopped here and it was, like, a little denim top, I'd be like, cool, fits great. But because it's all together, there was a lot of pulling throughout the crotch, um, a lot of stretching throughout here because my fat was just like <gasps> trying to get out you know so the crotch and lower stomach region not so great um and then i did feel a little bit of pulling throughout the back but again because that's pulling from like my ass to my shoulders there was a bit of pulling throughout the back not my favorite fit but if like I needed to for some odd reason like if someone needed me on a mechanic crew i could wear this all day and be comfortable um, and the enclosure in here, like the pants, it's the zip and then the button and then snaps up the top. And I didn't feel like it would snap open. I was also wearing it like mid boob just to be like titties. Um, so I don't feel like it would snap open if you like were doing stuff, but just letting you know, they are snaps up here. But like, if I was like trying to be a cute girl, I'd wear like a cute little white tank top underneath and only button it like halfway up and truly go for a Rosie the Riveter kind of look. Um, I did put a belt on this about halfway through and it did look really cute. So that's an option. It does have belt loops and then functional pockets back here. Um, but I just did feel the pulling and that like unmagical crotch feeling I get in every jumpsuit. So that's a me thing. I'm just not a jumpsuit person and I need to just lay off and stop trying. <laughs> Cause if you've been here for a while, you know, they never work out. They never work out for me. What am I doing? Um, but I made the attempt and it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't like A plus either. An attempt was made. That's, that's, <laughs> that'll be my thing for the new year. An attempt was made, but um, I know a lot of people who do watch like jumpsuits, so just wanted to show you. 
All right, that's it. That was a pretty big haul. I feel like I ordered five things, but I feel like that was 10-ish. But I'm very happy about the shoes. That first pair of jeans, who knows? I might be a jeans wearing person this year. Probably not, but I do have some on deck, ready to go for when I need to look like a cool girl, you know? Okay, so attempts were made. I would love to know what you are attempting to wear this year. Like what is out of your comfort zone? Like for me, it's the jeans. And it's so weird for that jeans for me are out of the comfort zone, but they are. So let me know down below what your like out of comfort zone thing that you're trying this year, what that's gonna be. I hope that was helpful and informative. I feel like hauls are here to help you. Like maybe you have your eye on something and see me get like my hair stuck in the zipper and are like, you know what? Never mind. Or I hope that you're like kind of have your eye on something and then see it on me and be like, okay, that's what it looks like on a body. You know what? I'm gonna get it. So I hope these are helpful to you and buying and buying more responsibly. Like let me be the guinea pig and then like you can save money and like have them look good on you. <laughs> so if anything in this haul tickled you or if you're just on Fashion Nova anyways, I do have a discount code. I will leave it down below. And all the links to every item in this haul will be down below. And I will like make sure to let you know which jeans are like my favorite jeans and like which ones were those fat busting ones. But I will like put stars next to the good jeans so you know when you're buying and clicking. Um, I receive no money from the code or any of the clicks, just letting you know. <laughs> making money from YouTube. Come on, who do you think I am? But all the links will be down below. The code will be down below. My sizes will be down below to help you shop and get your sizes right. So that is my first haul of the new year. I do have a collective haul coming up soon. I like extreme coupon to those after Christmas deals and I'm pretty souped about the deals I got. But again, this time of year, I am super uninspired by fashion. So if there's anything you wanna see, any inside the dressing rooms or styling kind of videos, um, that you want to see, let me know because I've been trolling these websites and nothing is jumping out of me to buy. So I don't know about hauls um, till for a while, but let me know what kind of things you want to see and I'll do them because I have no life. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.